everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I have seven makeovers from items I found at my thrift store. These have all been transformed into beautiful shabby chic farmhouse decor for my shabby chic she shed. So if you like DIY home projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on the budget, I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I have a small garden trinket box that I found at the thrift store. I think I paid $2.99 for it. I painted the box with the white chalk paint from Waverly. When it dried, I brushed antique wax from Waverly on the box. I used a wet wipe to rub the antique wax into the paint and also to remove any of the excess wax. Not only did it help to age the trinket box, it brought out all the beautiful details on it. I love how simple and easy this was to give it a new look with just some paint and antique wax. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I have a metal basket with handles that I found for $3.99. I disputed on leaving the basket as it was, but I decided to paint it with the white chalk paint from Waverly. When it dried, I distressed it using a piece of 220 grit sand paper and a wet wipe. I sealed it with a coat of DIY liquid batina. And to finish this DIY, I glued an ivory flower and leaves on the side of the metal basket, adding a pearl and a cotton ribbon bow. You set my wheels in motion. I'm going crazy for you. I feel like the ocean. I can see you want this too. Cause you've been looking at me all night, trying to figure me out. I 
I love how this rustic metal basket transformed into a cute shabby chic basket. I added greenery inside the basket and a doily. This basket can be decorated in so many different ways, but I'm going to keep it simple the way I like it. For this DIY, I found a mirror hanger at the Goodwill. I got this for $2 because of the color of the sticker the day I was there. It was originally from Hobby Lobby. I didn't care for the color, so I removed the mirror and the knob to paint it with the white chalk paint from Waverly. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a ghost in these walls. I distressed the hanger using a piece of 220 grit sandpaper. Unfortunately, I can't find the footage after I sanded the hanger. I took my black ink stamp pad and I rubbed it along the edges to give it a chippy old look. I added a stamp at the bottom and added a new glass knob to the piece to give it that sweet shabby chic look. I, I kept this one very simple as well and I hung it in my she shed. I love finding pieces like this and sometimes it just needs a coat of paint to give it another look to fit your style. For this DIY, I have a wood box that I found for $4.99. I'm thinking it was a recipe box, but I'm not sure. I decided to paint it with the white linen chalk paint from a Stolium. When it dried, I distressed the box with a piece of 220 grit sandpaper. Your heart. 
I picked a transfer from the IOD Transfer Traditional Pots Pad. I placed the transfer on the front of the box and I used the stick that it comes with and rubbed the transfer on the box. This plain wood box is now a cute, rustic, shabby chic box that can be used for different items and be displayed on a shelf or table. I have some old recipes that I will be putting in the box for my kitchen. For this DIY, I found an old bottle for $2.99. I'm not sure what it was used for, but I love the vintage look of it. I cleaned the glass bottle and I picked a transfer for the front of the bottle. Where you go is where I, go. I cut the transfer in three pieces to make it easier to rub onto the bottle. And that way I can also place them where I want them. And that is it for this DIY. I wanted to keep it simple, but still add a little glamour to it. I love how this bottle turned out. It will be displayed in my she shed. For this DIY, I found a wood tray for $3.99 and painted it with the white linen chalk paint from Astolium. I dry brushed the tray so I didn't have to sand the tray after for that distressed look and I like how it turned out. I picked a transfer for the tray from the IOD transfer brocanti pad. I think that's how you say it. I cut the transfer in three places to add where I wanted to place it on the tray. I used the stick that it comes with and rubbed the transfer on the tray. After, I sealed the tray with a coat of the DIY liquid patina.
I really like the rooster and hen transfer along with the French wording. It's kind of shabby chic farmhouse together. This was an easy makeover and it turned out adorable. I added the tray to my farmhouse cabinet that I recently made over. I'll leave the link for that video in the description. If you haven't seen it yet, I hope you'll go and check it out. For this DIY, I found the unfinished cupboard door for $5. I painted the door with the ink chalk paint from Waverly. When it dried, I added lots of white school glue on the paint and brushed it all over, giving the frame part a good coat of the glue. Does it all become for granted with a wedding ring? Oh, there must be more. There must I left it for about 15 minutes until the glue started being tacky. Then I painted white acrylic paint on top of the glue. I didn't overbrush the white paint too much into the glue. I just lightly spread the paint over the glue. I also painted the middle part of the door just with the paint. I used my blow dryer to dry the chalk paint to get a crackle look. If you use a lot of glue, you will get a bigger crackle look. If you use just a little glue, you will get a smaller crack. I left the door overnight to completely dry before brushing antique wax from Waverly over the crackling part. I wanted to give it more of an antique old look. I brushed a heavy coat of antique wax and then I rubbed it into the frame part removing the excess wax. I added more wax and removed it and continued that process until I got the look I wanted. When it dried, I used a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded the door to remove any of the shine left from the white paint. I have a beautiful piece of decoupage rice paper. I cut the decoupage paper to fit the middle part of the door. I brush DIY liquid patina in the middle of the door and I place the decoupage paper on top gently. I started at the top working my way down to the bottom to make sure there was no wrinkles.
I brushed another coat of DIY liquid patina on top to seal the decoupage paper. I love how this DIY turned out. I'm not a huge fan of crackling, but I wanted to try it and I think it turned out really beautiful. If I decide down the road I want to repaint the frame part, I will be able to give it another look, but I'll be keeping the decoupage paper because that's really pretty. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. I hope I've inspired you today with some new ideas for your home decor using thrifted items or refreshing that one piece of decor that really needs a new look. I want to thank everyone for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now. What's your type? Somehow I wanna